Uh, today I just prepared some comments to, uh, I guess, address the, uh, the rally going on outside. Uh, I apologize for the late notice. I think they've scheduled this. This is the third time they've rescheduled it and uh, kind of got lost on my radar as well. So I'm, I'm going to have a little opening statement and then give you some time to ask a few questions. Uh, it'll be about 10 minutes, so I appreciate you showing up. Um, I have and will continue to uh, seek solutions to illegal immigration issues. Uh, if there is a true immigration rally today happening on the west side of the state capitol, encouraging lawmakers uh, to stop illegal immigration and encouraging lawmakers to review and implement better legal immigration policies, I would be happy to attend. Unfortunately, I fear this will only be a rally that takes pot shots at my bill, LB48, and other bills that I've ran, and criticizes other senators who've taken a proactive role in fighting illegal immigration. So what they are actually holding today, in my opinion, is a pro-illegal immigration rally outside of our state's capital. I would love to hear them justify to me and all other hardworking, taxpaying, law-abiding Nebraskans why they feel it is okay to shun our laws and tell the people that live here legally and abide by our laws that it is okay for us to use our hard-earned tax dollars for those who have chosen to not pay attention to our laws. It is also a slap in the face to those who have immigrated here legally. I was voted in to make and uphold the laws of the state. That is my job. I will continue to do that. The voters have asked me to do that, and so long as they ask me to do that, I feel it is my duty to fight against illegal activity in our state and our country. That is all I have for now. Um, we'd be happy to take your questions for the next 10 minutes. Yeah. Uh, Senator, have you received any sort of um, uh, threatening emails, phone calls, other communications in your office since introducing this? You know, I have received um, I would some, some opposition to this. In light of what happened nationally, um, I think that has been curved a little bit. Um, I had received previously some stuff that I never really considered to be um, rising to the level of threat. Of course, I think we have to be a little bit more diligent in that now. Um, I'm happy to talk with anybody on both sides of this issue. Um, I've actually spoken to and was happy to speak to the executive director of the Latino American Commission on some issues, uh, formerly known as the Mexican American Commission. Uh, we had, in my opinion, a great conversation and agreed to disagree on several different points. Um, I think I speak for both of us, but I'll speak just for me, that we said that illegal immigration is a problem. We can agree on that. The solutions we may disagree on, but I was happy to find out that, that at least uh, we agree on that point. How would your bill enforce this, and where are you going to come up with the money to pay to enforce this? LB48 is a bill that I introduced on January 6th. I had a uh, press conference at the time on that. I have information on LB48. I'd be happy to hand out to you um, after this press conference. But this press conference today is dealing with the rally outside. Are you worried about backlash similar to that of Arizona uh, happening here in Nebraska because of this bill? Well, you talk about the backlash in Arizona. You talk about Representative uh, Giffords. Um, I don't believe that dealt with the uh, illegal immigration or the immigration bill. Uh, no, I'm talking about with the bill last year where we saw the Arizona Diamondbacks getting uh, backlash because of it. Are you worried about any kind of backlash similar? I think the biggest thing the Arizona Diamondbacks need to worry about is their pitching staff right now. Um, I don't think uh, you know, if Nebraska passes a bill like this, um, I, don't, I don't see that as a concern. Um, again, that comes to these groups. Uh, if I can move away from LB48, it comes to groups like this today that are going to rally for pro-illegal immigration. Uh, they try to do anything but offer a solution. Um, I've reached out. I've continued to reach out. Nobody reaches back. When I come up with an idea, I'm called names by these groups. They send out emails uh, telling groups to oppose me. They bring buses down here of why we should oppose it. What I'm asking is where is your solution? Uh, they have not come up with a solution. All they can do is drag through the mud anybody that comes up with a solution for illegal immigration. We can't work together if one side is going to continually call the other side names, and it's not my side doing that. Are you getting any support from the federal government on this? Uh, on my state bill? No. Any support? I'm not saying I've been... In terms of, of trying to deal with illegal immigration in Nebraska? I think if we talk about the federal government, uh, there's a couple different things. When the federal government does speak to the... Uh, the issue of illegal immigration, which they have, is uh, well, let's talk about the DREAM Act, where adults go to college. When an adult, a, adult a, presumably an 18-year-old adult, enrolls in college, uh, we are giving them uh, in-state tuition in, in Nebraska. The federal government specifically denies this. But at the state level, we are 
allowing this. So we are knowingly, openly going against federal law. So the one area the federal government did speak on this, uh, we're defying it. So that goes to the people that say this is a federal issue. We need to listen to the federal government. Uh, if you folks attend both of our hearings this year uh, on the bills I've ran, you'll hear that story used both ways. It should be a federal issue. And when I say, okay, it is a federal issue, we're talking about the so-called DREAM Act now. Well, now we change our tune. Now it's, now it's a state issue because the states overrode the government, which we don't have the capability to do, but evidently we've done. What's your response to the oh, Go ahead, Fred. To the critics who say that your bill is enacted is going to result in a lot of legal expenses at a time in the state of California. Uh, we have a state attorney general's office that's appropriated through the Appropriations Committee, and that's something they'd have to deal with. 